Hey guys, what's up? So, check this out. Got this for my birthday. Um, it's a Nitro RC car by Lightning, Lightning STR. So, yeah, back about 30 years ago, I was really into RC cars, planes, boats. And uh, actually, I grew up in Orange County I'm from, from Newport Beach. And if you grew up in the 80s, in Orange County, then you definitely probably heard of uh, radio control hobbies. And it was in Costa Mesa off 19th Street in Placentia. And uh, yeah, it's kind of like the epicenter of like the uh, RC hobby uh, explosion in the 80s. Uh, we had Team Associated here, or Associated Electronics. We had Novak, uh, Checkpoint Motors, Reedy, etc. But take a look at this. This is a uh, Nitro 110 scale. And. Uh, It's about 200 bucks. I think you can get my wife on Amazon. And uh, let's take a quick look at this. But uh, yeah, so this is kind of already, this has fired up my addiction for uh, RC stuff. Yeah, like I said, when I was a kid growing up, you know, from like 10 years old to probably 14 or 15 years old, I pretty much lived at Radio Control Hobbies in Costa Mesa. Yeah, if you're from Orange County, then you know what I'm talking about and you're into RC stuff. All right, so let's take a look at this thing. All right. So I never had a nitro car before. All the cars I had before were like the RC10s. I had a Tiama Frog. We had a, a Muggin Bulldog. Mugen Muggin. All right, so this is sort of like the cheap entry level car. Um, nothing special. One tenth scale, like I said, nitro. It's a 0.16 engine, pull string, and uh, I already I don't have any gas yet. You know, everything's uh, slowed down because of the virus. But uh, I've already ordered some uh, VP Racing fuel, a couple of different brands of uh, nitro fuel. Got the igniter coming. I got different tires, and uh, I got a bunch of like little of the accessories. I'll do another video about the uh, upgrades. I bought like all the bling stuff. I guess in the RC world they call them hop-up kits. But, uh, alright, cool, cool, cool. So I'm kind of bummed I can't, I can't, I can't run it yet, but you know, waiting for the fuel. And like all the local uh, hobby RC stores are all closed down right now. So you can't even get anything. Alright, so uh, this will be part one. The next part will be uh, me driving the thing. But I'm also going to do a video of the uh, accessories that I bought for this thing. So, typically when you, when you if you want to trick out your car, it's usually best to buy the parts up front if you know you're going to keep the car because if you try to buy the accessories like multiple, like you know, five years later, you won't be able to find them. At least do you won't be able to find them. In the old stock, maybe. Alright, so here's the transmitter. Yeah, this thing definitely feels really cheap. Yeah, as soon as I bought this car, I was already on eBay looking for upgrades. Um, on, off, okay. Bind. Yeah, I wonder how the uh, how much the uh, radio technology has uh, changed. Yeah, back in the day we used frequency crystals. I don't know if uh, you still do that now or not. But yeah, back in the day you'd have a removable frequency crystal. Um, interesting. I want to figure that out. All right, now I got to get batteries in this thing. So obviously I haven't even looked at the manual yet. Alright. Yeah, I mean, this it definitely feels cheap. I mean, def definitely feel like a, an expensive car. But I think it's getting a lot better once I get the actually uh, tricked out parts on it. Okay. Yeah, that's your receiver right there. Oh, interesting, it's tiny. Yeah, back in the day they were a lot bigger. <clears throat> yeah, I had like a Novak electronic controller, Rini motors, Checkpoint Platinum motors. That was pretty cool. All right, so some double A's in this thing. Um, turn 
this on. Okay. There we go. That's awesome, was already bound. Catch your throttle. All right, so yeah, I'll be waiting for the gas, and uh, we'll take this thing down the street and see how it feels, what it's like. But, uh, all right, so if you saw this on uh, Amazon, um, you know, uh, that's what it looks like right here. So, all right, yeah, we're going to go. Awesome.